echinobots straddle an unusual line between robots and living organisms. They are living organisms because they are made of stem cells and they can reproduce. They're also robots because they can move around themselves and uh, they can do physical labor by Sam Kregman. to Taxi's YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about the world's first self-replicating living robots developed in 2020. Name Cenobots 3.0. In 2020, scientists from UVM and Tufts team up to hand-build computer-designed organisms from a frog cells. Now they have built Cenobots that can gather hundreds of single cells compress and assemble them into a baby and then release Cenobot's offsprings and their uh, from their Pac-Man mouth, uh, Pac-Man shaped bones, living robots that look and move like themselves. They are less than a millimeter wide, created by the researchers uh, from the University of Vermont and the Tufts University. Cenobots are being created using the stem cells from the uh, African claw frog and sophisticated algorithms. So yeah, what are those stem cells that are being used in this amazing creation? Stem cells are the body's raw materials, cells from which all the other cells with specialized functions are being generated. Now, let's see what is the initial differentiation in these stem cells, and that is skin cells and heart cells. So why do they have used skin cells? That is because of their capability to bond together to form the passive architecture of Cenobots. And why do they have used the heart cells of the African clawed frog? And that is because of their capability to contract and relax. Unlike other robots, Cenobots are not made of plastics, aluminium, sporgias, or sprackles. They are created using molecular biology and artificial intelligence. Scientists now claim that they have discovered a new form of biological reproduction that is not known to science yet. So yeah, this is a quotation from UVM robotic professor Josh Bonded. We found xenobots uh, that walk. We found xenobots that swim. And now, in this study, we have found Cenobots that replicate. So what else is out there? Now, you might wonder, who are the scientists behind this amazing creation, which is going to be a milestone in our future? Yeah, these scientists are Sam Craigman, Josh Bongrid, Michael Levin, and Douglas Blackenstein. Right now, the Cenobots are really basic. Though they seem like really easy to create a Cenobot, it takes hours of microsurgery with those heart cells and skin cells, which are called stem cells, just to create one Cenobot. According to the scientists, Cenobots use climatic replication. According to other biological professor in Tufts University, Michael Levitt says, though frogs have their own base of reproducing, when you move the cells from the rest of the embryo and give them a chance to figure out how to survive in the new environment, they not only learn, they not only find ways to move around, but also find ways to reproduce. So then, gradually, these Cenobabies grow into parent Cenobots. And those parent robots and their babies are entirely biological. These biological robots reproduce by smooshing loose cells into new robots. Based on the data obtained from the heart and skin cells, the algorithm was able to uh, generate millions of different cell configurations. These little Cenobots are just the first step in figuring out how to control anatomy on demand. 
And these micro machines are a brand new programmable form of life. Researchers believe that we can use cinnabars uh, to repair in our internal body organs and also uh, to clean the plaque from clogged arteries and to detect uh, cancers. The usage of cinnabars aren't just limited to the medical field. They can be extended into like we can collect plastics from microplastics from the depth of the ocean and we can search and collect uh, radioactive contaminants using cinnabars. This discovery of those robots that can reproduce is a landmark in artificial intelligence. Now, you might have a question whether these amazing xenobots are intelligent well according to computer scientists they are intelligent but not like human so they prefer calling them program engineered organisms according to scientists robots are intelligent at the designing and programming phases but not in the actual cinema and finally the researcher says that uh, cenobots are biodegradable and they have been regulated by the ethic experts. I think we learned so many new things in our today's video about this world's first self replicating robot, Cenobot 3.0, which is absolutely going to be a milestone for our future. So, if you find this video is interesting, give it a like and if you haven't still subscribed us, Texas, go ahead and subscribe us and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will never miss any of my new videos. And if you are interested in watching my previous videos, you can find the links down in the description box. I hope to meet you in my next video with another trending and interesting topic. So, until then, bye-bye.